When you design your space, it should be a 360 experience of what that culture and that brand looks like outside of just the on-screen presence. My name is Nina Etnier. I am a founding partner at Float Studio. And I'm Brad Sherman, co-founder of Float Studio. Some of our clients include Casper, Food52, Sakara Life. The team at Inc. asked us to come by today and take a look at the 2019 World's Coolest Office list and give a little bit of feedback. So when we were taking a look through the list, something that jumped out very quickly was the way that all of these spaces were using various partitions to create a sense of separation and create a lot of zones within the space. It's so important for startups because they're figuring out their own identity and also how they work most efficiently. So the ability to be able to flex those spaces means they can grow into a space easily. You'll notice in a lot of these projects, flexible partitions that allow a certain amount of separation without a full delineation between space. Even just a slight level change between two spaces, something as subtle as two to three feet, that just helps create a sense of space without blocking off the sight line. Another thing we're seeing in this list is a huge focus on the common areas and spaces. It's the opportunity to really pull your entire team together and encourage not only collaboration, but also just relaxed socialization, especially for a startup where you may go from 10 people to 200 people in a really short period of time. The space can be a really fantastic way to maintain the energy and the excitement around the culture. They can be areas for presentation, for entertaining, and also what you would want to bring a visitor or an investor through to just kind of get a quick sense of who you are and what the heartbeat of the company is. Playing with lighting, the temperature of lights, the different zones of lighting is a really important part of the process in office design. I think gone are the days of the two by four flickering fluorescents that sort of blanket the space and give you maybe a little bit of a headache. One common trend amongst many of these offices is the use of non-traditional architectural lighting. In a lot of these projects, they're using more what you'd consider decorative lighting. You don't necessarily need everything on full black Fast, super, super bright all the time. Certainly if you're trying to be productive, you want your workstations light and bright. There is a really nice opportunity to lower the lights, use secondary lighting, wall sconces, and things that were traditionally thought of as a more residential or even restaurant design. The right type of lighting can keep energy levels high, it can create a more balanced work environment, it can just generally add to the overall happiness of the people in the workspace. I think lighting design is an example of one of those things that the team isn't necessarily going to comment on, but they're definitely going to feel it from a productivity standpoint, and it'll be subtle but very impactful. In quite a few of these projects, they were in spaces that had really interesting architectural bones to begin with. So some of them were extremely gritty warehouses, maybe a little bit rougher around the edges than you would typically see in a workspace. But the projects that did fall into that camp do a really beautiful job of not covering that up, but rather letting that inform the entire design direction. There was even a project where I noticed the selection of the furniture, the colors, and the fabrics was informed by the colors and tones that you saw in this existing warehouse structure. Another thing that is shifting more towards this being the norm versus the exception is selecting furniture that feels a lot more like it belongs in your home or even in a hospitality environment. Gone are the days of crazy Google design and they feel very focused on the brand and what people are trying to do in the space. It feels like the company culture for each one of these spaces is really well reflected in the design choices that were made. Thank you.